Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hello. I'm here with my boy Miguel, Big aka Money. Biggie Money. We downtown right now, exploring the uh, marvelous wonders of the beautiful city of Fort Worth. And as you can see, it is popping. Only in Texas and New York and any other big city. Oh my god, guys. We just stumbled upon the Fort Worth Convention Center and they were having the gaming convention. And for those of you who don't know, I'm kind of a nerd. And I'm good at Call of Duty. So I'm a little salty right now. Next time. Next time. Oh my god, guys. I am so salty right now. I should be there. But I had no idea about it. I'm so mad right now. What? <laughs> that, was, that was bonkers. I'm angry, but somebody. We got Miggy Money, the parkour master. Do it. Finish. What do you guys say? You do it, boys. That's how you do it. All right, guys. On some real stuff, real quick. Me and my boy Miguel, we were just talking about uh, being committed to stuff, which is kind of strange because we were talking about the video games, which I know what y'all are thinking. Video games, that's kind of lame, but it's whatever. But we were just thinking. If you completely and wholeheartedly commit yourself to one thing and one thing only and strive to be the best thing, and this is obvious, but no one really thinks about this. If you commit yourself completely and make that your, your everything, your world, whether that be sports, um, video games, a relationship, anything, you have the potential to be great at that, right? Yep, you're Don Tootin' right. So, let's have that uh, serious conversation real quick, but back to the exploring. So I looked down the staircase, and I saw the creepiest looking mannequin. I freaked out. I almost cried. Like, it was just so bizarre, dangerous looking. It was some goosebumps and stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens when you trespass. Yeah, we broke into this motel, right? And it was like, Holoki haunted? Super sketchy couldn't sleep but in their defense it was uh, abandoned yeah it was abandoned it was abandoned so it's all right it's all right it's that one right back there right over there yeah we had to climb some gates but that, that that's fine we're fine indeed hey miguel yes i'll give you five bucks if you run through it uh no negative i like money but i'm not stupid guys so we were just thinking recently China banned eating bananas online seductively so we were just wondering do you think that a banana is a incidental indecent 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 fruit, fruit. an indecent fruit so I'd like to say no but that's only because bananas make me happy 
But then again, it's against guy code to eat a banana and look at your friend at the same time. Which I do all the time, so I guess I'm gay. That's... I mean... Yeah. I, <laughs> scratch that last part. We'll, edit that. we'll cut that out. But... Yeah, so leave your comment in the... the comments. Yeah, leave your comment in the comments. Is banana below. indecent? Is a banana indecent? I let, us, let us know. I vote yes in some cases. Alright guys, so it's getting late, so we're going to go ahead and head home, but I want to thank you for tuning in again for another video. Um, once again, I'm sorry for not posting as uh, frequently as I uh, expected to, but um, yeah. You got anything to say? Uh, stay classy, San Diego. Go Bananas, B-A-N-A-N-S. Oh, not y'all. Anyways, subscribe if you're new, like the video, uh, tell your friends about it, that'll help me out, and, uh, sorry. <laughs> and I will see y'all in the next video, peace Bye. out.